growing up I, I had the regular pains and those pains are not not something you wish on your enemy. Sometimes even morphine does not even hold that pain down. January 2012, I called my younger sister and we were having a discussion. To my sister, it was just a normal call. But along the line, I said to her, Rhoda, if you hear that anything happened to me, please help me take care of my children. Now, because we were having a conversation, my sister did not think about that statement. What she didn't know was that at the other side of the phone, I was ready to overdose on the drugs I had bought. I had a challenge with my, with crisis, they had to be blood transfusion, and in the process I had an infection, and um, I was trying to turn on my bed. Um, because of bed, bed sores. Normally your nurses are so when you stay too long in a position, the nurse is supposed to turn you over, but they didn't and I decided to do it myself and I had a snap. They rushed me to the um, x-ray place, found that I had dislocated my hip from the socket, hip, so, hip socket. So they had to put me in a POP. I was in a POP for six months. Those were the most depressing months of my life. It was at the mental home that the source of my suicide and depression was traced to what happened to me 23 years ago. I came to Lagos to stay with an uncle because my parents could not afford to take care of us. 